Do you want to learn how to apply security filtering in group policy? I will take you through the process step by step in this tutorial video. To learn how, stay put. Hi, I'm Patrick from Dutchie Tech Tips. If you want more tutorial videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, hit the bell icon to receive notifications for future videos. To apply security filtering in group policy, we need to have our group policy management MMC snap-in open and pointing to the group policy or GPO folder. Earlier, I have created a group policy called sales. What we need to do is double click on this. As you can see under the scope heading, you will find security filtering. The settings in this GPO can only apply to the following groups, users and computers. Meaning that you can apply this group policy to any security group, user or any particular computer on your domain. As you can see by default, authenticated users is applied by default. What we need to do is we want to remove this. Then a pop-up window will say, do you want to remove this delegation privilege? Click OK. As you can see that the authenticated user has disappeared. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a group to the security filtering called sales. To do this, click on the add button. As you can see, a pop-up window has appeared called select user, computer or group. This is a search box to search for user, groups and computers in your domain. So I'm going to search for sales. To validate that sales exist, press check names. As you can see that the sales is a valid security group in our domain. So click OK. As you can see that the sales security group has been added to the security filtering under the scope tab in our group policy. What this now means is that any user is a member of the sales security group this group policy will be applied, providing that the sales security group is high enough in the hierarchical chain of the domain. To summarize the key points of this video, I've shown you how to access the scope tab in group policy. I've shown you how to delete the authenticated users that has been created by default under the security filtering window. And I have shown you how to add a security group under security filtering and group policy.